The Florida Department of Transportation is constructing a buried seawall to help protect a nearly one-mile portion of State Road A1A in Flagler County. After a thorough evaluation of different types of walls, engineers chose the secant wall design as the most appropriate for this project. Construction is currently underway between North 18th Street in Flagler Beach and Osprey Drive in Beverly Beach. The secant wall will be constructed using cased continuous flight auger cast piles, or CCFA. Cased CFAs are installed by rotating a steel casing counterclockwise, followed by a continuously flighted hollow stem auger rotating clockwise into the soil to a specified depth. Grout is pumped under pressure through the hollow shaft as the auger and casing are withdrawn. The first step of construction is to clear the dune and truck in sand to create a wider and more level surface for the wall construction. About 35,000 cubic yards of sand are expected for this project. Once the dune has been widened and leveled, the contractor will construct a guide wall. The guide wall will sit in a trench about three feet deep and will be used to guide the drill as it creates the concrete columns or piles that will make up the secant wall. The structure of the guide wall starts with a steel form that must be placed precisely within the trench. Once the form has been placed, concrete is poured on the outside to create the template. A softer material called flowable fill will be poured into the center of the form. This flowable fill will stabilize the template during the drilling process. Using this template, the wall will be constructed by drilling shafts at alternating depths of 18 and 36 feet. The 36 foot shafts will be reinforced using a fiberglass cage. The cages are built by tying the fiberglass rods together. Fiberglass is used instead of steel rebar because of the saltwater environment. To accomplish the drilling for this project, the contractor built a unique piece of equipment. The specialized drilling rig stands more than 100 feet tall and weighs about 180,000 pounds. It features dual rotary heads that spin in opposite directions. A separate power pack was added to the rig to power the second rotary head. Its combined turning power is 550,000 foot pounds, which is about twice that of a standard auger cast drill. The machine also features a sophisticated computer system that monitors every aspect of the operation. During the drilling process, the auger is rotated clockwise as it lifts out, which pushes the soil up the auger flight. Once the drill has reached its specified depth, concrete is pumped into the hole through the middle of the drill. As the concrete flows in, the soil is pushed up and out and collected in sleeves secured over the drill. The soil is then loaded into trucks and removed from the site. When the concrete is ready, a crane will be used to lower the fiberglass cage into the 36-foot shaft. Spacers will be used to keep the cage centered in the shaft. In the 18-foot shaft, a single rod is inserted. This rod will help prevent cracking as concrete expands and contracts. The final steps will be capping the seawall and then adding additional sand and planting. The wall will be buried and will not be visible to the public. We invite you to stay up to date on the progress of this project by going to our project webpage at www.cflroads.com. You can type in the project number 440557-7 557 in the search bar to be taken to the project page. You may also email the Public Information Coordinator at the address shown on this page for regular email updates. Thank you.